So today we are going to do my very first um, weekly decorate with me, plan with me type video in my new Marion Smith Designs Heart of Gold planner. I do have a full video um, showing my entire planner setup, um, each individual section, the printouts that I used, the things that are included. I have added and subtracted a few things since then, but if you would like to see that video, I will link it in the description box below, as well as all of my other planner videos. I do have a full playlist List that is hashtag plan with Manda. So if you want to see any other plan with me videos, uh, you can check that playlist, which will be linked in the description box as well. Um, today I am going to flip to my weekly, and I just got these beautiful inserts from my friend Tanya. She decided to start up her own Etsy shop for planner printables, and um, I will post the link to it in the description box below. Um, they are so, so, so pretty, 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 so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these. Um, and my planner is an A5, just in case you guys were curious. And also, I will post the link to the website of where I got it. They are sold out, but keep an eye on the website because they get tons and tons and tons of more new ones, and they're always coming out with new products and stuff. So, um, yes, these uh, planner printouts are so pretty. They are actually a light pink. And these were, she kind of made these a little bit custom tailored to me. It is the Erin Condren style, so it is vertical rather than horizontal. And they are undated, so you can write out the days and the month and everything like that. So you can use them endlessly. Um, these are, you know, you print them yourself. You don't pay for them and then receive physical copies in the mail. You print them out yourself. Not going to talk too much about them but um, you get the concept. Uh, but these are super pretty and she kind of made these ones custom tailored to me because I wanted a YouTube section, a to-do section, and then she decided to just add this little personal section, which I love. Uh, yes, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get on into making this page even cuter than it already is. All right, so the first thing I always like to do is take the pages out so that they are easier to work with. And then I just set my planner to the side. As you guys know, my very favorite thing to do right off the bat is take washi tape and do it along this line right here. It just adds a cute little accent. So I'm just using this washi tape that is um, pink with little like clear polka dots on it. And I got this in a set from Michaels. So what I'm gonna do is just line this up. Hopefully I'm in frame here. I'm gonna line this up ever so carefully, just like so. And then I am going to press it down, just like that. So this is my little bookmark from my personal size, Kiki K. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of set this even with the side, and then I'm going to tear up and you can see it just cuts a nice clean, clean, clean line. And when you flip it over, you can still see where the holes are. So now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other page. All right, so there are the pages, and like I said, once you flip them over, you can see where the holes go. So I am just taking a little single hole punch, and I am just going to repunch through these holes. All right, so there we go. We have our little pages. And so now I think what I'm going to do is along this bottom spot right here where it says um, this week's goals, inspirations, ideas, meals, lists, dreams, daily to-dos, I think I'm going to go ahead and cover that up with a little bit of this really pretty gold washi tape. Um, washi tape is amazing because you can pretty much get it at any craft store. Um, this one was sent to me but um, it is so pretty. So what I'm actually going to do is, since this little strip right here is a little bit thinner than the washi tape itself, what I'm gonna do is I am going to pull this, get this started here, and I'm going to measure this to the size of one page and cut it 
just like that. I have my trusty little paper cutter here that I got at Michael's and I'm going to line this up to where it can be cut kind of um, in half. Cut that. And then so now I will have two pieces instead of one. So you're kind of getting double use out of the washi tape. Line the side up right here at the base of the boxes. And then I'm going to run it along right there. And then trim off that edge piece. And the next thing to do is start putting in the month and numbers. So what I'm gonna do is I have a stamp set here. If I can grab it, it is a clear stamp set. I will post the link to where you can get stamps like these in the description. Um, and then I have a clear stamping block here. So I grabbed the month of January, which is actually in a different stamp set. I showed you guys the wrong one. It's this one right here, but I will link you guys below to where you can get something kind of like that. And so I just put it on this clear um, acrylic stamping block. And I have Brilliance ink right here that is pink. And I'm just going to put some of the ink on the January stamp. And I love these clear, I like clear stamps better because you can really see where you're positioning them on the page rather than a regular um, rubber stamp that maybe has like a wooden back or something where you can't really tell. So I am going to line this up exactly where I want it with the heart. And I'm going to push down, don't add too much pressure, don't add too light of pressure, and then pull up. And it says January. Um, I'm looking at this and maybe pink wasn't the best option. But what I think I'm going to do is go in with a black pen and outline the letters once it's dry. And while that is drying right there, I'm just going to go ahead and do another stamping. But this time I'm using these cute little, um, they're bullet hearts. I say bullet hearts instead of bullet points because they're little bullet points in the shapes of hearts. And what I'm going to do is just go put these in each little section of the to-dos. So same exact technique and this one will show up a lot better because it will be on the light pink background rather than a dark pink background. Line this up kind of in the middle and then press down and pull up. So there you can see there's one example. I'm just going to go in and start numbering these. Careful not to smudge the, um, the stamps that I just did. So Sunday is the 24th, 29th, and 30th. So there all of my dates are numbered. And now I'm just going to go in right here on January and kind of outline it with the black ink. So it is by no means perfect, but it works and it stands out a little bit so you can read it better. I think I'm going to start adding some stickers. So I just have this little box of random Rilakkuma and Korilakuma stickers that I got in little packs off of a website called Modes For You. Um, which will be linked in the description box below. So, lining this up down here. I think I'm just gonna go right there and pop that on. So it just adds a cute little accent. Oh, there's another heart which has Karilakuma on it, which is opposite, which is perfect. So I can put it on the other page. Pop this one on here, just like so. So now they're on each corner and they look adorable. Okay, and I have these big stickers from Little Surprise Shop on Etsy. Link will be below as well. And I think I'm going to stick one of these pretty ones in this little section right here of the notes. Um, and I'm not sure. I think I'm going to use the Be a Flamingo in a Flock of Pigeons one just because the pink and gold kind of match the scheme that I'm going for. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and add two more um, Karilakuma stickers. One up top in the little note section right there. And then I'm going to place one right here. Just like that. There we go. 
there we have our weekly spread as far as decorating goes and now I'm just gonna go ahead and add on some stickers that I need to and um, just start planning everything out on the 29th I have to go with my mom to the doctor so I'm going to be putting that under personal and I will write that in later and I really need to clean my makeup brushes. Um, by the way, these little doctor stethoscope stickers came from It's Planning Time. They will be linked below. All these shops that I mentioned will be linked in the description box below. And then these little makeup brush ones um, are from Sweet Kawaii Design. And I do really need to clean my makeup brushes. Let's do this on a Monday because on Sunday I have to write out something else and I'm actually gonna do one of the little makeup brush characters as well just to make it more cutesy just like that how cute is it oh my goodness so for Sunday I have these little garbage cans Sunday is the day that I have to get all of the trash together so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on there because it is trash day and then I also have these from Sweet Kawaii Design. They are little iPhones, and this is to help me remember to pay my phone bill. So I'm just going to put this over here on Saturday, the 30th, because I always pay it at the end of the month. So that is what that is starting to look like, and I'm so obsessed with it. Now taking one of these super cute little envelopes from Katie's Creations, I am gonna pop this on somewhere. Um, I'm not exactly sure where I want to put this. I'm probably going to put it down here because I am going to be leaving the house already and I need to check my P.O. box. So I'm just going to pop that on right there so I can do both of those kind of on the same day. So now I'm just going in and I'm going to start writing in everything that I have to do. So right here I'm just going to write trash just like so and then I'm gonna take a little hot pink pen here and I'm just gonna go around it just to create a little bubble just so it stands out and looks a little cuter you guys have seen me do this many times with my other plan with me videos but it just looks like that so it stands up and I know to do it and I think I'm gonna try and um, line this little makeup brush one as well so there is that then over here I am going to write um, mom doctor Here, I'm gonna write check P.O. box just like that and then to line those as well just like that and on the Saturday I'm gonna write a phone bell right here Ooh, and then outline this one and there we go so there are all the pages and I'm just trying to think um, what else I can do here what else I can kind of jot down um, in my YouTube section I am going to be using an erasable pen this one is just a um, friction uh, clicker um, it's, and it's an erasable one and it has pink ink so I am gonna be using this one to write in my YouTube videos that I need to film edit and upload and everything like that because um, sometimes these switch around a lot and most of the time I will either have like sticky notes that I will be able to move around um, or I will do an erasable pin just for the simple fact that it's always changing and some days I'm not able to film and just things come up so I am going to write across here of what I need to do as far as YouTube videos go um, 
I only have so many planned right now, um, so I'm not exactly sure if I'll be getting to those or what, but I will kind of fill in what I can for now. Um, I know one that I definitely can't set a certain date on is my dress link haul. So what I'm doing is taking a sticky note from this Rila Kuma sticky note set that I got off of eBay, and I am going to just kind of throw this across these pages right here because I don't have any idea of when I'm going to be able to do that. So I'm just going to type right in um, dress link haul. But um, then that way I can kind of move that or reposition it wherever I need to and it won't be like set in stone. I can kind of manipulate my schedule and whatnot. So one that I know for sure that I'm going to be doing is this plan with me. And I'm just going to take another one of those um, Karila Kuma ones and kind of just put this randomly on here as well because I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be doing this or not, but I'm just going to write down um, my iPhone case collection. I think I'm going to put this dress link one over here um, and then I'm going to throw the iPhone case collection over with it because... Um, I think on this day I want to obviously film um, a uh, how I clean my makeup brushes video. I think that would be kind of perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and write that in, how I clean my makeup brushes. This is just a rough schedule. It's not set in stone or anything like that. The only one that probably will be is my plan with me. So um, yeah, that is what I have going on and usually the to-dos I plan on leaving blank until like the day of something comes up. So um, actually right on this to do I'm going to put um, clean Luna's cage because I do that with trash day. Okay so I just put clean Luna so I kind of know that that's what I have to do and I think that is all I'm going to fill, fill in right now. Things may change, things may come up, plans change and everything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these back into my planner. Now to add just a little bit of cuteness, I took like this Project Life type card and I punched holes in it so it can sit there in the middle. And then I am taking some of these Rila Kuma sticky notes, again from this same set as these little more skinny ones. And I'm taking some double-sided sticky tape and just going to set this right on here. And then that way, if I have to jot down a note and kind of just like stick it on somewhere, I can. And then I'm gonna flip that over. And right here, I'm just going to put this bookmark that I made. Um, I made it using some really sparkly scrapbook paper. I laminated, laminated it, <laughs> excuse me. Um, I did these little hole punches in the corners. And I used some 3D Puffy Read the Kuma and Co Read the Kuma stickers. So this will stick up a little bit and let me know where my week is. Um, but yeah, that is my weekly layout for the 24th through the 30th of January 2016. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this. I am sorry for the reflection on these certain things, but this is what it looks like. And like I said, I plan on um, going through and filling out a lot more to-dos as the days um, go on. And I just kind of fill them out as soon as I know what goes on or is what is going on. I try not to make too much of pre-plans because things just kind of spontaneously come up a lot around my house and in my life. So I like to have the ability to kind of just jot them down when they come up. So with that being said, I am going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know about down below if you want to see more planner videos. And if you like the walkthrough talking style or if you prefer the me just speeding up the clips and decorating them with music in the background. Let me know what you like better. I don't mind doing either, so just let me know. It's pretty much the same process either way, except one way I'm talking and one way I'm not. So with that being said, I am gonna go ahead and let you guys go and I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you.